Even in the e-book age, Powell's book in Portland, Oregon, has thrived. So says its founder, American of Ukrainian descent, Michael Powell. It touts itself as the world's largest independent new and used bookstore. Powell says it employs 500 people and sells about 12,000 books a day. We treat every subject matter and every possible uh, kind of book with the equal seriousness. So romance or westerns or, you know, uh, fantasy books or uh, books on religion. Michael's grandfather came to the U.S. from Ukraine. Though Michael himself has never been to the country, he says it's still a big part of his life. If people ask me, what's your nationality, I always say Ukrainian. Running the business is a family affair, and Powell wants to keep it that way. While Powell handles the pricing and selects the books, his daughter Emily runs Powell's books. So I was the first one in the family to be in the book business when I opened the store in Chicago, where I'd been a graduate student. I grew up in Portland. I, I treated uh, paperbacks, you know, in those days, I, it was all used books. I didn't do new books then. And most used book dealers didn't think anything of paperbacks. And I was near a university and the students liked, you know, the price and uh, convenience of a paperback. So they treated, I treated paperbacks as serious business. Powell's father saw how well the business was doing and eventually opened a bookstore in Portland. Michael Powell soon closed shop in Chicago and moved back to his hometown to join his father. He didn't want to do any of the personnel stuff or bookkeeping stuff or he just wanted to be at the counter and chat with customers and, and, uh, and be a nice person and he was and people loved it. But despite his line of work and an incredibly successful business, Michael confesses he doesn't really love reading books that much. And people will say to me, oh, you must really love books. And I'll say for myself, as I would say for my father, no, I don't love books. Anybody who can love books, I love selling books. And that's the difference. When asked what his favorite book is, Powell always says, without hesitation, the next one. Irina Matvichuk from Portland, Oregon, VOA News.